today we're going to be showing you how to properly shape foam with our new foam shaper. So to do this, you're going to need our blade foam saw, our new foam shaper, a marking tool, and a ruler. To start, you're going to need to mark the shape that you want on the ends of your foam. So you can either do this with the foam that you're replacing as a guide, or you can create your own shape. We've gone ahead and created the shape that we want our foam to be, so we're going to use this as our reference. So we're going to line it up on this edge of our foam, and then we're going to take our marking tool and mark the contour. It's important to note that if you're replacing foam and you're using that as your reference, you might want to draw your line slightly higher than the actual reference because foam tends to compress as you use it. Um, so you'll want to go ahead and counteract that by just having a line a little bit higher than it. And then we're going to flip it around and do the same thing to the other side. Once you've marked your initial reference lines on the side, we're going to carry those lines across the top. So we're going to pull those lines up, just like so on either side. And then we'll connect them with our ruler. Now we're going to draw a diagonal line across the top of our arc. Just like so. And this is going to be the part that we cut with our blade foam saw. So just like the other line, we're going to carry this across the top as well. And with this line, we're also going to carry it across the front. So these two inside lines are what we're going to be referencing to use our blade foam saw with. And this is just going to help ensure a straight cut. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to line it up on the edge of our table and I'm going to take a sandbag and help weigh down the ends. Now that we have our foam on the edge of our table and we have a sandbag holding it in place, it's time to cut our foam. So there are a couple of methods that you can use to cut your foam. You can either remove the base plate and cut it at an angle, or you can hold it upside down while holding the blade plate. I personally prefer this method just because I feel like I have a little bit more control of the blade and where it's going, and that's what we're gonna be doing, but it's totally up to your personal preference. So you're just gonna wanna line up the blades with the top and bottom lines that we've drawn. All right, so with that piece removed, we can go ahead and move our sandbag. And now we're ready to start shaping our foam with our foam shaper. Before we get into shaping our foam, we're just gonna teach you a few tricks to using this tool just on a scrap piece of foam that we have. So tip number one for using this tool is that the harder you press, the more foam you're gonna remove. And then the lighter you press, the less you're gonna remove. So this is just important to keep in mind as you're shaping it and what sections you want to remove stuff to just use it a lot lighter on the sections that need more fine details and then harder on bigger sections where you need to remove foam. A second tip is for how to hold it. So you can hold it a couple ways. One of them is just holding the handle and this is great for just really slow strokes. But then if you're working with a big section of foam, we recommend holding it more at the base kind of just in between your fingers and then you can go back and forth. It's a little bit faster and you can cover a little bit more area, a little easier. So as you can see, we still have our original reference lines to reference where we're gonna shape. So we're basically just gonna be cutting down these sharp edges right here to get that nice rounded shape. And then as you can see here, we're not quite done yet, but we've started shaping out this top corner. It's a lot softer um, as compared to the bottom corner. Now that we kind of have the shape that we like up here, we're gonna go down to our bottom ridge and even that out.
And then once you're happy with the shape of your foam, you can go ahead and clean up your foam with either sandpaper or an air compressor just to get any debris off so that you're ready to use it for your project. We've gone ahead and linked our foam shaper as well as our blade foam saw in the description below. Sealrite also offers tons of upholstery tools and supplies, so if you're interested in any of that, make sure to check out our website. If you want to see any more of our tools in action, make sure to like this video and then subscribe to our channel so that you'll never miss one of our videos.